Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video that was requested by you all and that is a closet tour. This is my walk-in closet in my studio apartment. If you haven't seen my studio apartment tour, I'll have it linked above in the cards and down below in the description box for you to check out. To give you some context, um, this is right when you enter my apartment to the left. This is kind of like an open uh, walk-in closet concept. It's kind of in this like mini hallway of its own and my bathroom is behind the camera right now. So I was really, really excited for this closet when I moved into this apartment because I've never had a walk-in closet. Before we get into the tour, I would really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button if you like these types of videos like tours and apartment decor and things like that. And also, if you're new, I would love if you stuck around by hitting that red subscribe button. Now this is a pretty tight space, so I'm having a hard time showing you everything in one shot, but these are the dressers, um, or the drawers, and over here are some shelves. And then over here is the hanging section, so I have my tops up here and then down here is another hanging section where I have some dresses and coats and then when you look to this side this is my uh, laundry basket I'll show you what's behind this curtain but then I just have an additional shelf up there so I'm gonna work left to right in this closet and this is a little cabinet uh, this is I think an interesting choice but I really like it and when you open it up I put in here starting at the top I have my ball caps I went to Yukon, so I have my Yukon hat, a Nike hat, and some athletic hats that I wear running or to the gym. Over here is where I keep a little box of um, my purses that I'm not using currently. I only have a couple purses. And this little box is from Ikea. It came in a big set, and I love these um, because they're a little bit flexible. They're great for organization, so I just have a couple of my purses that I'm not using right now. In this brown bin, I keep all of my extra toiletries, travel toiletries, and things like that. Over here, I have my winter accessories, beanies, scarves, stuff like that. This is my favorite beanie. It is a Patriots beanie. I'm a big Patriots fan. Born and raised in Massachusetts, so I was very excited when they won the Super Bowl, obviously, and I love this beanie. In this top drawer here, I have my basic tank tops um, that I wear under shirts and camis. And over here, I have my leggings. The other pair of leggings that I wear is in the wash right now, um, but that's, this is where it usually goes. This second drawer is the drawer that probably gets the most use of all, and that is my jeans drawer because I wear jeans to work almost every single day. I work in a business casual office, so these are my blue jeans in a diff different uh, variety of cuts. And these, this is my black pair of jeans and just a pair of like more leggings that are kind of more like pants. This third drawer does not get much use right now because it has my summer bottoms over here, jean shorts, capris, flowy pants, and then just some of my bottoms that I don't wear as frequently, like this purple pair of pants, this pair of leather shorts. I love this pair of shorts though. Um, but yeah, this is doesn't get that much use right now. This drawer gets quite a bit of use recently because these are all my open knit chunky sweaters. I wear them a lot to the office or I bring them with me to throw over when it gets chilly because my office is so cold. Um, but yeah, these are just some basic chunky knit sweaters. <laughs> This is where I keep all my PJs. I have shorts, like little sets, nightgown, just t-shirt and like these nice um, flannel PJs. I actually love these pants. They are from the Vermont Flannel Company. They are so warm. Their store is in Woodstock, Vermont, or at least one of them is. They are so warm. I wear them all the time in the winter and I love pajamas. If you're the same way, let me know. Where do you get your cute pajamas? I love cute pajamas. And the last drawer on this side is all of my sweatshirts and hoodies. I had so many sweatshirts and hoodies in high school and college, but I've really narrowed them down to the ones I really love. And I just have some like sweatpants to wear um, on the way to the gym if it's cold or something like that. Um, and I used to have so many hoodies for all the school events, sports and everything, but I've narrowed it down quite a bit. So I'm proud of myself. Now I'm gonna start at the bottom of the next row, just while I'm down here. This is kind of a weird thing. I think it's meant to be a laundry basket, but I don't use it for that. I use this to hold extra towels and blankets, the ones that I'm not using right now, but are clean. And I don't know, I thought this was weird, but kind of cool, it kind of <laughs> opens at a hinge. I don't know, it's cool. In this drawer, I keep sweaters. I love sweaters, especially living in New England in the winter. Um, these are just kind of my knit sweaters that I reach for quite a bit. I wear all of these. And yeah, just love them. Pretty self-explanatory. 
And these top two drawers over here are my bras and underwear and socks, so I'm not gonna show that to you. This is my little shelf, I guess. There's this shelving unit that you can adjust the, sh adjust the shelves on. And this is where I store my jewelry, this is all my jewelry I've really narrowed down over the years. Um, an extra little fancy purse, my glasses, sunglasses, some lipstick back there, and my kombucha glass. I was just drinking this. Um, but yeah, I just like to display things here and it, I find it that if I display it right in front of my face, I will vary up my lipstick, vary up my jewelry more, and get a use out of everything I'm, everything I have. So I love having this little display shelf right here. My tripod cannot go any taller, but over here I have this, all my nail polish. This is all of my medicine, and up here are two pairs of heels that I don't wear very often. I just find it very useful to have a pair of black heels and a pair of nude wedges for the summer and I wear them enough to keep them, but not super frequently, so that's why I kind of store them way up high. And the rest of my shoes are in my hallway, so if you want to see that, then check out the studio apartment tour. I'm gonna have to stand on my tippy toes for this shot to be in the frame, but this is the top rack, I guess you could call it, uh, or the top clothing rail, what do you call it? I don't know. But up here I have all of my tops. I hang everything except for my chunky knit sweaters, but I just like hanging that because, again, similar to the jewelry, if I see it, I'll be reminded that I have it and I'll wear it or I'll realize that I don't use it and donate them. So here I actually organize them by, um, like, situation that I'll wear it or occasion, I guess. So I start at the front with more going out tops or fancier tops, going into, like, t-shirts and, um, yeah, t-shirts and more casual wear. And then in the back I have blouses, like work clothes, work clothing, blouses, button-ups, things like that. Just for fun, I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite pieces while I'm here. If you haven't seen it already, I recently uploaded a spring clothing haul where I share quite a few pieces. So definitely check that out if you're interested. For going out, I love, ooh, I love this top. It is so soft, it's from Lulu's and it has this lace, uh, lace up detail in the front, which I like because it's not super revealing. It doesn't go super low and it is just so soft. I also have it maroon in maroon, but my friend is borrowing it right now. I recently picked this up actually from TJ Maxx and I think it's such a nice flowy blouse. I wear it to work and now with the spring coming, I'll get a lot more use out of it and it has this cool crisscross detail up here. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways. Yeah, I thought this was a nice color that I don't really own much of. This area is pretty tight, so I'm kind of squished in here. Down here is where I keep my jackets, blazers, and dresses, and skirts. Even though this closet is awesome for storage, my apartment, like the rest of my apartment, doesn't have that much storage in terms of extra closet space or shelves and things like that. So I actually use this back part of the closet. This goes really far deep, so it's but it's kind of unused space. So I hang some of my summer dresses that I'm not using right now back there. And also I have these big, um, what are these called? Big plastic bins. One is full of summer shoes and shorts and other summer casual clothing that I'm not using right now. And the other is full of decorations for holidays like Christmas, Thanksgiving, fall decorations. I love decorating my apartment. So I just keep these back here out of sight, out of mind. But again, I'll show you a couple of my favorite pieces. I get so much use out of this. It is my Patagonia jacket or like zip up sweatshirt. And I love the color of it. I was gifted this by my sister and brother-in-law for Christmas like two years ago, I think. And I get so much use out of it. It's so warm. Besides my jeans, this is the most worn item in my closet. And I've owned this for probably like six years now. It's a faux leather jacket and it has withstanded the test of time. And it is awesome. I get so much use out of this. It's from TJ Maxx. So if you're looking for faux leather, definitely check there first. This is my favorite dress right now. It's something my mom got me. I love wearing it, um, especially for work. It has this flowy sleeve and it's in a print that I wouldn't have normally chosen for myself, but I love it and I get so many compliments on it. And she got this from Nordstrom. The brand is Highline and I wear a size eight even though I'm normally a size six. So now I've kind of switched around. My hanging clothes are right here. My shelves are over here and this is a really big eyesore originally. This is where, I don't know if you can see it, the water heater is for my apartment and this was just to completely open in this little 
corner right here. So what I decided to do is I bought a shower curtain, like a suspension shower curtain, bought a curtain that actually matches the curtains in my apartment windows and just draped it off. And now it looks so much cuter. It has this cute print. And when guests come in, they don't see this ugly eyesore. So that's a tip for you. If you need to hide something, buy a curtain and get a suspension rod. Done. Up here is where I store my tote bags and travel bags that I'm not using right now, obviously. I have my robe on a hook. This is the softest robe. I love soft robes. And this is just my laundry basket down here. Pretty boring, but I think I made this area look a lot cuter than it originally looked. So that was my entire closet. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to put in a little disclaimer here at the end saying that I am by no means trying to brag or show off. I am very grateful that I have this closet and I have these clothes that I love to fill up this closet and I'm very grateful, but this was just a really requested video so I wanted to put it out there for you. Again, if you're new, please hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh.